Hello and welcome back to Provis Gaming and EU4, the Cossacks, playing as Rasha. Let's move on with our war. Last episode, we mostly spent a lot of time talking about... Um... Some different questions and suggestions that have been posed to me by some viewers. Some pretty decent questions there, but that's pretty much all we talked about. In the meantime, we did start up a war against Ardalan. Who's Ava? Ava. Huh, this little guy down here. Civil war going on in this tiny little guy. The East is interesting. It's actually amazing how well this is uh, formed into several large nations. Usually, I would expect like Ming to have exploded by now, and there's a lot of small nations vying, but... Power has consolidated into a pretty respectable number of uh, players here. And Japan is actually getting beaten up by Korea, which I rarely see, so that's really unusual. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, uh, yeah. So we answered a lot of questions. We've, we're doing our war thing. Uh, let's go ahead and move these armies forward now that I have finished the siege. I'm going to hand this off to Theodoro as well. Who knows how much we want to feed them. Most likely, I would like to feed them the coast. Technically, that would allow me to take, let's say, Mazandaran myself, maybe? I have to check. I don't know if that's actually in coring distance, but it would be interesting if it is. And if so, if I, as long as I have direct borders, I would have Deus Vault against, let's say, Persia, or Tiberistan, and so on. It might be worth using my Vassal to Leapfrog. I'll have to take a look at the peace deal and decide what's really worth it for me. This guy is routing way down here. Not really sure what you're trying to do. I need military access through somebody. Uh, let's say Persia. Would you give me military access? You would. So let's take that. I'm going to go ahead and send this army to go and work against Khorasan. Because these guys joined the war. Hejaz, I don't think I care that much about. They're not going to be able to do much, if anything. So, uh, whatever. Not a big deal. Let's see. Siege of Yerevan is over. Good. Let's hand this off to Theodoro as well. Doop, doop, doop. Where's this guy going? He's not going to stop here, surely. Oh no, a general has died. Oh, he was our good one. Well, one of our good ones. Alexei is still here, which is the important thing, but he was a pretty decent general. He will be missed. All right, let's see. Where's another fort? Baghdad. That sounds like the sort of thing we want to go for. Technically, that should be part of Iraq, so... We'll see what happens there. There's another fort that we should start sieging. I'm going to hand this off to Theodoro as well, because if I am going to take anything, it's going to want to be this province, because that will have direct borders against Tiberistan and against uh, Persia, which could be kind of cool. Uh, you know, if I did take this and, you know, either core it or something, I could technically still hand it off to um, Theodoro once I was done with it, once I had declared Deus Vault, I think. Would I want to do that? I don't know. Maybe. These guys did just shatter retreat directly into my waiting arms, my loving waiting arms. Into the mountains, which means they are going to get raffle stomped. <laughs> Rolling on four, laughing, squishing your face. Bohemia declared war against mines for liberal, uh, sorry, imperial, liberal, imperial liberation. That's what I was trying to say there. Okay. How are we looking as far as our colony? It's taking a while still, but if we can get a border against, let's say... Kalka, then we would be able to declare war on them as well with a Deus Vault, which is hilarious. They're so far away, but we're sort of creeping on over here. You know, we're re it even looks a little bit, a little bit like an arm with an outstretched hand, like Russia's reaching over to grab him. Eh, it'd be funny. But yeah, that would be one way of trying to expand east. Granted, it'd be really difficult to control this area, but it might work. Maybe. Hey, look, it's Iraq. I said you were never going to be worth nothing. Let's go ahead and stomp on these little guys. He stopped there. That's fine. Let's go ahead and squish this army. Like... Come on. Get in there. So. Perfect. Iraq, you're going... You you're, you you took a look at the Russian forces and were like, Oh, hell no. You're getting out of there. Wait a minute. That's not Iraq. That's Hejaz. That's Khorasan. Iraq's not in this war. What am I talking about? Hejaz and Khorasan are the ones that are involved in here. Actually, Iraq, I could get you to transfer your trade power to me. Would you even accept a vassalization? No. No, no, no. Certainly not. We're too far away. Still. Well, that's interesting. I'll hand this off to Theodoro as well, for good measure. Why not? This is all about growing vassals right now. Uh, since I can't do a lot of growth myself. When is our truce with Bukhara up? In 1611? Three years. Okay. The Ottomans, it is up in uh, two years. And against Sweden, it is up in 
six years. And if I wanted to declare war on Brandenburg, I could. Interesting. I could also technically fabricate some claims against Kohlberg, Pomerania, who's allied. They are a lesser partner in a union with Portugal. So declaring war on them would be a war against Portugal. Interesting. Not sure how much I care about that. Let's go ahead and send these armories down here, since we have them. We might as well. Looks like Coruscant only has one fort, so we should be able to knock them out of this war fairly effectively. Oop, looks like they also, again, shattered, retreated to an occupied province, or at least a besieged one, so... These poor armies are having a really bad time, is what it comes down to. We are taking some attrition, but again, I have so much manpower, I'm so close to the cap. Who even really cares? Now, Yerevan... Mm, yeah, that's the province we're going for. Uh, we actually got the fort. Nice. Ardalan is already down to low war enthusiasm. Um, if I could get Coruscant out of the war, I'd have a lot more war score than I do currently, so... You know, we'll just, we'll just get them down. I'm not in a huge rush. I mean, what are we? Russian? Are we Russian? I don't know if you... I didn't pronounce that very well. I make this joke with my wife all the time. You know, we're like in a big hurry, and I'm like, what, are we Russian? Because it sounds like rushing. Are we rushing? Like, are, uh, but I just kind of add a little bit of an American slang to it. Are we Russian? And uh, she's like, no, we're American. I'm like, yay, you remember my joke. <laughs> it's pathetic. I know. It really... I know it is, but whatever. It is what it is. There we go. All right, those are all done. Good. So, anyway... Yeah. We're not in a huge rush right now. We should be just fine. I would love those colonies to finish up. No guy separatists. Where is this? Alec. Skogov guy or whatever. This one. We should deposit an army over here at some point to get ready to deal with no guy. They are currently at five. Um, Ottomans have, are trying to westernize. That's going to be fascinating. Uh, they are currently at 5.1. Well, did it just tick down? Yeah, 5.1 unrest still, so even a full army stack is not going to be able to get rid of that entirely, but, you know, it should reduce it enough. Eventually, we'd be able to get rid of these Separatists entirely, which would be quite good for me. Let's bump up to speed 4, because I got plenty of time. We did finish a conversion. That's good. As soon as this army is done, we'll probably want to stomp someone else down. In fact, let's go ahead and send this army down this direction, just to reinforce on the off chance we need to. Technology-wise, we should be fine. Like, this shouldn't be much of an issue. This fight, this war is going to be so gosh darn easy. Like, what's the concern here, really? But, meh. Siege some stuff down for Khorasan. I like that this territory is called Bust. Bust. Very busty. Mm, yeah, quite. We are almost at the point where I would think it's worth investing in the next level of military tech. Fairly soon. Uh, did we finish? We did finish actually all of our administrative ideas. Let's wait to see how much, well, how much, how much technology is this going to cost me? It's going to cost me 354. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and take the next level of admin tech. Why not? Let's get the production efficiency right away. We'll have plenty of power to core whatever it is we decide to take, if we decide to take anything. Uh, again, that's going to depend a little bit on the peace deal, which I still have not looked at. We probably should do that. Um, let's group you up. No, nope. group, split. And uh, let's send this little guy here. Let's send you here. There we go. And I think you're going to abandon this fight. Are you not? No? You decided you want to take this fight. Okay. Fascinating. We should reinforce that then, because it turns out that attacking into the mountains, even with a tech advantage, can be a little on the painful side. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and retreat these guys. They're going to shatter retreat, but uh, we're actually going to stick back here. That was a little bit of a miss play on my part. Coffee boom in uh, Spain. That's fun. Let's take this stack, deposit it here. There we go. We'll be ready to deal with those no guy separatists if they become a problem. So, Coruscant still has high war enthusiasm. That'll change. Petition for redress. Lose prestige. I'm going to go ahead and say let's take the revolt in Minsk. That's probably in Lithuania, I think. Yes, it is. It's going to take me a while to get an army up there. Um, a, a good long while, actually. Hmm. We'll hold off as long as we can. It's going to take how long? Until September. Ouch! It's going to take almost a full year. And I do not have an army local ready to deal with it. So the question then becomes, do I want to risk the peasants? I think I don't. 
because I am not in a position to deal with that. We're going to have to lose the prestige and the loyalty. That sucks really bad. Let's go ahead and move this Legion up that direction anyway, so that eventually we will be in a better position to make sure that never happens again. Russia occupied such and such. We have a peace offer from Coruscant. They want white peace? Nope, they will actually give me war reps. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's, I mean, I just wanted you out of this war anyway, so sure, you're out. Thank you. That's good. Ardalan, time to split you up. Doop, 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 doop. I cannot take this. Russia cannot make it into a core. That sucks. That sucks royally. Okay. Well. Um. I guess if that's the case, then we might as well hand this stuff off to Theodoro so that whatever I negotiate is going to go entirely to them. And let's see what we can actually accomplish here. Do 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 do. All right, Theodoro, how much can we grow you? A lot. We can take over the coast of the Caspian Sea. It would cost seventy-seven war score, ninety-three war score. Uh, I don't necessarily know if I care if I take this one. The fort would be nice, but I don't know if I care that much. This could often honestly go to the Timurids at some point, so whatever. Uh, as long as they have a good border with the Persians, they could fabricate some claims. Let's take a look at getting, let's say, war reps. Not that you're, this um, Ardalan is going to be worth a lot of money. Maybe it doesn't matter. How much money you got? 109? Eh. This all seems okay. It's going to cost 81 diplomatic power if we did that. Release nations, return cores. Nothing to give to our guys, so we don't care. Revoke, No. Uh, this seems like a pretty reasonable province. Theodoro effectively cuts off this region from the Ottomans very effectively, which I like. So, yeah, why not? There we go. Theodoro just grew a lot. Fine by me. Let's get ready to stomp on their separatist rebellion. And that won't be a problem for me. We have a call to arms against Mainz, Bremen, the Knights, Augsburg, and Saxony. Is a war that they have started. Okay. Bohemia, you do not appear to have done much of anything at all. We'll accept, because why not? I think this is a war that we should be able to win with very little effort on our part. Not worried about it. In fact, let's go ahead and pick up the next level of military technology, so we have a very solid advantage. Cavalry shock just increased. And we can take some military tech very soon. In next month, actually, and we will do that. So we can get back ahead of time by 13 years. Better colonial range actually could be kind of nice for us. Trade range is good. Um, new ships and actually trade depots. I like that a lot. More Theodorans. These stupid noble rebels. Theodoro must have absolutely atrocious legitimacy. Or something. They got negative three stability right now. Ooh, buddy, why? They're actually quite weak. It may be almost time to annex Theodoro. They're kind of running their usefulness. They're getting kind of large. They got some estuaries and stuff that I kind of care about, and they're so obsolete technologically that I'm not sure we care that much about them. In fact, we're going to have so much extra diplomatic power because we're so far ahead of time, we don't have any ideas to worry about, that yeah, I think annexing Theodoro is probably next on my list. <laughs> Won't be that bad. Won't be that bad at all. Let's take these guys to deal with the Georgian Separatists. Who are you? Armenia. You're warned by the Ottomans. Theodoro, you can't have... You don't have anything against them. I didn't think so. Uh, let's go ahead and say that this is a province of interest to me. And let's say that these guys are set to hostile so that Theodoro will fabricate against them. And that should do fine, I think. Of course, we're suffering a bit of attrition in some stupid ways, but whatever. It's not a huge deal for us. And we'll get some armies off this direction. How's the strength of the Alliance looking? Well, okay, I guess it's deceptive because our side has drastically higher numbers simply because I'm involved in the war. Realistically, Bohemia is contributing 14,000. Yeah, Bohemia may have started a war that's a bit bigger than they can chew, but we sure as heck can finish it. Black news indeed. Our king died! No! Well, Ivan for Riraskovich is in charge. We have a 5-5-1 leader, which is pretty decent. 
and we have a 643 air. Oh, this game has been too good to me. This game has been way too good to me. I'm getting some great leaders. Holy crap, that's awesome. And we are so far ahead on uh, military tech that the fact that he has only one is not actually going to hurt us that much. Having the extra administrative skill is actually better suited to us right now. And we have very high Diplo. Yeah, I mean, that sucks because we got a stability drop and our guy's dead, but do I really care that much? No. No, not really. Let's, let's, let's all dogpile on these Georgian Separatists. Goodbye. Thank you. Go here. And here. And the other army will go up here, probably. There you go. We'll deploy some troops. We'll help Bohemia. They haven't been a very useful ally to me thus far in this game, but whatever. We'll do it anyway. Uh, looks like we had some native uprisings. We lost zero men and murdered them all. And this colony is taking a fair while to get going. Missionary strength and loyalty for the clergy is not such a bad thing, all in all. High liberty desire from the Timurids still. I've got as good of a relations with you as I really can at this point. I mean, the reason for your liberty desire is what? Events and province defections is apparently the big one. I think that's mostly because I forced their conversion. But, you know, I could increase their liberty desire by putting a relative on the throne. <laughs> uh, I could also lose 20 prestige to reduce it by 10. I could also enable scutage. Which uh, is not very useful to me, as far as reducing Liberty Desire, because if I ever decide to cancel the footage, then they would be angry. Sweden broke their alliance with Scotland. Well, that's interesting. Now, why did you do that? The Levy. Took my Chevy to the Levy, but the Levy was dry. Uh, everyday occurrences of the Tsar, blah, blah, blah. Keep it at modest level. Okay, so... Oh, gosh. All right, so lose a ton of money, get elaborate court life, lose taxes, gain prestige, possible advisors, 20 permanent loyalty with the boyers. My goodness. But they lose influence. Or, well, they're going to lose influence no matter what. Shy of just straight up losing some loyalty, of which I currently have 49%. They're going to lose influence pretty much no matter what I do right now. That's interesting. I could gain a permanent 20 loyalty, though, exchange for a lot of money. That's pretty good. Uh, the yearly prestige and possible advisors don't matter to me, though, and the national tax is kind of sucky, so I don't know. You know what? I'm going to accept the loss of um, loyalty here. There's no good reason to do this. Lose prestige, lose loyalty, lose influence. Lose 15 loyalty, plus bad things, as opposed to just lose 10. No. No. We've had some negative events going on with the boyers lately, um, which is sucky, but... Oh, I can't even do this. Okay, we're just going to have to accept less um, manpower for a while. Oh, wow. That actually sucks. Oh, no, wait. Never mind. It ticked back up. We're fine. We are fine. Not a big deal. Okay. So, I'm going to continue to fabricate some claims against, let's say, Bukhara. Um, Timurids, who do you have claims against? Or cores? All this. It's a pretty big chunk. We don't actually need a lot of claims with Bukhara. Turkestan. Some stuff I can't pronounce. Not that that's ever stopped me from trying before, I suppose, but we're going to claim on this one. Shege, Shumpen, whatever. Because if we did take that, that would split their country a bit, which just kind of weakens them a bit more. And Sweden, I guess we'll just get some more claims against you as well. Because why not? How are we looking down here? Uh, a bit of things. Spain, Naples, Venice is still pretty big. Not a lot has changed with France. I'm surprised how well uh, England has been holding their own. And the Netherlands still exists, which is kind of cool. But it's going to take us a while to get some troops over here to save Bohemia because they're losing some stuff right now. They're losing pretty hard. Let's put our better general over in charge. Let's we'll continue to march. Forward march, everybody. Forward freaking march. I don't have a mission. There are no missions. At all. Available. Currently. Hmm. Well, that's fun. <clears throat> uh, let's pull our guy away from the Timurids. And we'll start improving relations. We actually have max relations with Theodoro right now. Is there any reason I can't just annex them? Or, uh, wait, we're at war because we accepted the call. Never mind. Huh. Uh, we're gonna keep a stack of 24,000 troops here. The rest, let's see, I'm going to keep an 18 stack over... We actually have two stacks over here already. 
Let's go ahead and march all these guys off to the east then. I don't think it's going to hurt me too much. I think we're overall still in pretty good shape, and we can kind of just bump up to speed 5 while we wait. Because it's going to take a little while. That's enough for this video, though, I believe. Ooh, admin tech. Administrative efficiency! Take it, take it, take it. Sorry, I didn't have to think about it. Administrative efficiency is amazing. And we are now 13 years ahead of time in everything. And we also have Sunday schools available to us. Stability, missionary strength for really nothing. Sure, why not? No reason not to do Sunday schools. All right, cool. That's a nice note to end on. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Provis with EU for the Cossacks. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I, as always, will see you guys next time.